Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is missing number. So in this question, we're given an integer array called nums consisting of n distinct numbers in the range 0 through n, both inclusive. And our task is to return the only number in that range that is missing from the array. So this is the input array given to us. What is n? n is the length of the array. Length of the array is 3. So the numbers should be present within the range 0 to 3, both inclusive. So the numbers are 0, 1, 2 and 3. But inside the input we have only 3. We have 0 and we have 1. We don't have 2. So 2 is the missing number. So 2 will be your output which is the expected output here. Similarly here n is equal to 2. What is the range? It should be 0 to 2 which is given here. So 0 to 2 the numbers are 0, 1 and 2. Now compare it with the input. We have 0, we have 0, we have 1, we have 1. So again 2 is missing, so 2 will be your output. In this case, n is equal to 9. So the numbers are between 0, 8 and 9. We have 9, we have 9 here. There is 6, there is 4, there is 2, there is 3, there is 5, there is 7, there is 0, there is 1. So what is the missing number? The missing number is 8, so 8 will be your output. So to solve this question, you might observe that first we have to find the sum of all the numbers present inside the input. The sum of all the numbers here is 3 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 4. So this is the sum without the missing number. And we know the sum of n natural numbers. Sum of n natural numbers is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2, where n is the input given to us, n is, where n is the length of the array. So 3 into 4 by 2 which is equal to 6. So actually the entire array should have sum equal to 6 but here we have but here we have the sum equal to 4. So if you do 6 minus 4 so 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. So this number will be your output that will be your missing number which is expected here. So this is the formula we have to check n into n plus 1 by 2. This will give you the total sum and from that sum we have to subtract the sum of the input array given to us and the difference will be the missing number. Now let's take a look at the code. So here we're finding the input length. So this is the input array. So n is the length of the input array. And I'm creating a variable sum without missing, which is the sum of the input array. And this is the sum n into n plus 1 by 2. This will give you the total sum. So if you subtract the total sum minus the sum of the array, you will get the missing number and that missing number you will return it as the output. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the input array nums and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.